Here's a slightly more difficult example. Here we have three resistors and a capacitor. Uh, notice that two of the resistors actually have the same value, R2. So remember, step one was to define voltages and currents of interest. VO is already given to us by the um, unknown voltage across the resistor. And then I'm going to make up a name V1 for the uh, other junction. And then I'm going to make up some names I1, I2, and I3 for the um, currents going through the resistors, and then I4 for the current through the capacitor. Step two is to apply the element laws, or uh, sorry, to apply Kirchhoff's current law. So let's start with this first junction where we see I1 minus I2 minus I4 is equal to zero. And then for the second junction, we realize that I2 minus I3 is equal to zero. Step three is to apply the element laws. And so I1 is just going to be equal to I, one over R1 times E minus V1. We also have I2 is equal to one over R2 times V1 minus VO. We have I3 is equal to one over R2 times VO minus zero. And then finally, I4 is the capacitor. That's gonna be C1 times S times V1 minus zero. Step four is to combine the equations. And what makes this uh, somewhat easy is that I2 and I3, we already know are equal to each other. So we can first work with that equation. One over R2 times V1 minus VO is equal to I3, one over R2 times VO minus zero. Notice that the R2s are going to cancel out. And so what we're left with is the relationship V1 is equal to two times VO. In other words, once we know V1, we automatically know VO. Let's return to the first junction, I1 minus I2 minus I4 equals zero. This is just a matter of uh, writing out all of the terms and then combining them. So this is going to take a minute to do, but there's actually absolutely nothing to that process. So I'm going to write these out. Uh, we also have C1S times V1 is equal to zero. I'm going to combine all of the V1 terms on the left, and I'm also going to flip the sign. Uh, so what we get is C1S V1 plus one over R1 plus one over R2 times V1. Uh, I also have a uh, one over R2 times VO sitting here. And then I'm going to move to the right one over R1 times E. So uh, this is pretty close to the differential equation we want, except that we have V1 and we want to get rid of that. So let's get rid of V1. And uh, what we see is that that's just the same thing as two times VO. So every time we see a V1, we just write two times VO. And we get this equation. Uh, notice that we can also combine some of the VOs. So we get two C1 times VO dot plus two over R1 plus one over R2. That's the result of uh, combining the terms above. And that's going to be equal to one over R1 times E. So there we have our differential equation with VO as the output and E as the input using Kirchhoff's current law.